I think everyone has a fantasy of wanting to be a movie star, but what about making your own movies? I'm Artie Sender. We're in Acton, Massachusetts. We're going to meet a 15-year-old who has written, produced, directed, shot, and edited over a dozen science fiction 8mm silent films in the last five years. His name is Jamie Burke. We'll meet him this evening, hear what he has to say about his movie making, and watch Jamie and his friends make a new science fiction epic called Earth 3000. In the movies, there's no such thing as fiction or fact. It's all illusion, and that's one lesson that a young filmmaker learns early. Jamie Burke's been making movies ever since his mom and dad got him a 8mm silent camera a few years ago. He's produced 14 science fiction films, and Jamie and his friends are now in the production of his latest film. It's a space epic called Earth 3000, about the adventures of a scientist and his pal, the robot. When Rob, you're chasing um, Benny, Benny, and you chase them to here, and you come over, you'll, Roger, you'll be working on the roof, and then when Jeff gets up top, you'll take the gun, and you'll give it to him, and Jeff, you'll just shoot him, right? At the major film studios in Hollywood, hundreds of people are involved in the production of films which usually cost more than a million dollars to make. But here in Acton, behind Jamie Burke's house, which doubles as his studio backlot, films are being made on budgets determined by the size of Jamie's weekly allowance and the determination of a small group of his friends. Where any office boy or young mechanic can be a panic with just a good looking pan. And any shop girl can be a top girl if she pleases the tired businessman. Hooray for Hollywood! You may be homely in your neighborhood. To be an actor, see Mr. Factor, you make your kisser look good. Stand by. Action, go Eric first. Roger, get up and let him pull the ladder. All right, get up there, Eric. Roger, fall. All right, Jeff, do it. Pull it out. You shoot him. All right, Jeff, fall off. All right, good. That's good. Are you okay? Yeah. Nice going. Wrap it up. When I was 10 years old, I got the idea from a kid in my fifth grade class. He wanted to make a movie for some kind of project, but his fell through and he never made it. So I wanted to make a good movie. So I got my friends together and we made a werewolf movie. But now that I look back at it, it's wicked stupid. <laughs> There's no real plot, it's just the werewolf went around killing people. And I wanted to do that because I wanted to scare people instead of just make them fall asleep.
When Jamie's not making films, he attends school at Acton Boxborough High. But he's got a tendency, as do other 10th graders on warm spring days, to let his attention wander a bit. And for the young filmmaker, these moments of fantasy hold dreams of the future. A hey, camera mark. <laughs> Terry Burke is Jamie's mother. Mrs. Burke, what has Jamie gotten out of his filmmaking, do you think? Well, I feel that Jamie is a very creative, imaginative young boy, and it occupies all his spare time, uh, fulfilling his creativity. And uh, I just like to see him doing something that's creative. And, and it keeps him occupied. That's very important Yeah. to have a hobby. I think it's nice for boys to be busy doing things that they like to do, and Jamie certainly likes it. That may be the understatement of the year. Jamie's become totally involved in all aspects of the art of filmmaking. He develops story ideas, he writes the script, casts the actors, shoots, directs, designs makeup, produces, and then edits all his films. And very often, in the style of Alfred Hitchcock, he can also be spotted playing a part in one of his movies. And despite all the time required for this creative process, he still feels it's important to get out for the Saturday matinee. When I go to movies, I see them differently than when I'm, now that I'm making them myself. I get most of my ideas from other movies I've seen. Star Wars was a big influence. Jamie, the epic that you're working on now, Earth 3000, can we see some of it? Oh, sure. We got the idea of the spaceship and stuff from Star Wars. That was quite an effect there with that energy coming out of the hand. How did you do that? Well, I took the film and I put it over a light. And then with magnifying glass, I scratched around the hand. This silent 8 millimeter camera has been Jamie's since, well, 1973, but we asked him to leave because his parents are about to surprise him with a new camera for his birthday, a camera that records sound. And when sound gets added to those great science fiction stories that he's come up with, he'll really have something to see, and I bet we see them maybe in a theater someday. Anyway, we'll see you next in our departments on TV4's Evening Magazine. Smile. Robin, I think it would be fun if all kids could play with a movie camera like Jamie Burke and just find out what it's like to edit together a story. It really is creative. Good evening, everyone.